Lawrence. Yes. Is everything okay in there? Up to a certain point. In fact, everything's absolutely perfect. Ladies and it's gentlemen. A, it's a perfect world, Nick. Ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely I'd, perfect. Ladies and gentlemen. Can I get a word in edgewise here, Lawrence? Only if it's perfect. I just want to introduce to the world of radio a one Mr. Lawrence Fishberg. Something when a building shifts, you lose your faith in your foundation. Broken mirrors, broken bottles. If there's anything that's left, it's mine. Best wishes, Mr. and Ms. Going crazy. What this is is havoc on dishes, and I find that disasters are. The floor is breaking and the ceiling splits They're screaming in the next apartment Sorry for not being calm But this is something not to minimize Best wishes, Mr. and Ms. going crazy what this is is havoc on dishes And I find that disasters are blind Broken bed, broken case, broken phone, broken place Broken glass, broken blinds, broken chair, broken signs Broken bars, broken doors, broken desk, broken floors Broken walls, broken stairs Broken bodies right on the point. Well, how do you mean abrupt, Lawrence? Well, I sort of put my finger down on the button and suddenly everything stops. It, it must be kind of peculiar. Lawrence is what you'd call a one-man band. Right. He has his whole string ensemble. And Fess up, Nick. There are 25 individuals here. Well, okay, but they're hidden in corners and I can't see them. Right, and they have their faces toward... Uh, the walls, and God knows what they're doing at this very moment. Goodness gracious. Oh, Lawrence Fishberg, I, br before you continue, I realize this is early in the program to address this particular subject, but mm -hmm. you suggested to me in the automobile right. on the way out here that tonight was your last public performance. Right. Well, I just want to make something very, very clear that I'm retiring unless someone out there offers me a independent or a major record contract. Tonight? In the very near future. Is this an ultimatum? Sorry. This is an ultimatum. I'm sick of uh, begging, scrounging, and uh, otherwise humiliating myself. Well, but, but my query is, what makes the all-encompassing, the, the, the never-found record contract, the end-all? Do you not find pleasure in just performing for people? People? People. I can't stand them. You don't like people? No. So, but what's the purpose of making a record, then? Uh, to just watch it go around and around, or as the case may be. I don't know, what does a CD do? Does it goes CD? around and around. Then I agree with that. I just like the centrifugal force. Am mm -hmm. I making myself clear? Yeah, yeah, no, I'm perfectly clear. Oh, then I probably like that effect. Or is that an effect? <laughs> I'm not sure, but... I'm not really sure either. I should Speaking of effects, maybe you should play another song. Well, I have a song queued up here. It's called Balzac Prozac, and it's the relationship between the writer and the drug. Lawrence Fishberg. Thank you. When I read a book, I always read Balzac. When I take a drug, I always take Prozac. Balzac. 
here still in a functional mood you are or i am i think ho hopefully both of us are well <laughs> yeah. i'm not sure about the subject of that last song oh well it it's the um it's the juxtaposition be be between the written word and the swallowed substance goodness gracious yeah man. it's uh it's a little bit heady it was actually co-written by a mr michael Gorlick, otherwise known as Sparrow, famous East Village poet, and we co-wrote that. Michael Gorlick. Michael Gorlick, Sparrow, yes. A great writer, and uh, he helped me co-write that last uh, song, plus the song that I'm about to do right now. Basically, that's true. And this one is called um, They Break Windows, Don't They? Hope you like this, Laura. It's kind of a country-western thing. Oh, thank you. Good. Uh, all right. Women run Texas and that's all right with me Cause look at the mess men have made of Tennessee The place don't look right, it's not even 3D And all the Kentucky fried chickens Lord, they smell like pee I don't like men They make me scared, they shave every day And they still grow hair They break windows, don't they? They break windows, don't they? They break windows, don't they? With a chair Women run Texas, they plant lots of flowers The blue bottles bloom with grace under stars But in Tennessee It's just pizza and trash Men push over bookcases with a crash They sell their dogs just for cash I don't like men They make me scared They shave every day And they still grow hair They break windows, don't they? They break windows, don't they? They break windows, don't they? Texas, the women all collect art. People look at Cezanne's and they feel so smart. But in Tennessee, everyone spits. In dark bars, they sit and sit. Listening to Cher's greatest hits, I don't like men. They make me scared, they 
to shave every day and they still grow hair they break windows don't they they break windows don't they they break windows don't they with the chair they break windows don't they they break windows don't they they break windows don't they with the chair take it out boys you know nick no what I can be sensitive also. Really? I know it's hard to believe, and I know a lot of individuals out there say, ah, Lawrence can't be sensitive. It's, it isn't in his innate nature. But I'm going to prove that. that right now? I'm going to prove that they're, com they're completely wrong because I have a sensitive tune here. Just one? Just one. It's the only thing that, that I ever wrote that was about relationships, and I figured why not show the public that I'm a many-faceted individual. Well, Lawrence, before you go into this next song, your, that last song was reasonably sensitive as, as songs go. Oh. I can't even recognize it anymore. Isn't that pitiful? What do you mean? I can't even you know, recognize whether it's a cynical song or a sensitive song. Do you have a, a, a disorder? <laughs> yes. Do you call it anything? Bob. Bob. <laughs> I call it Bob. He has a Bob disorder. Well, that's healthy. Sometimes Edith. Edith. But that's a whole other story. Didn't George Harrison call his hairdo Arthur? Uh, only on Sundays. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, Lawrence Fishburne once again. Was very, very, very sensitive. Lawrence. I'm crying, but it, but it did come from uh, what's left of my heart. 
Well, where did your heart go to? I think the bunion in my right foot. It's still hurting. Do you have any songs about your heart? No, but I have something that's very, very similar to one's heart. If you really think about it, it's a song that was co-written by another very well-known and lovely uh, young guy by the name of Hal Sir. It's a great poet called Coitus Interruptus. I would like to throw that at you and see if that fits. Well, you pardon my way of be phrasing careful. things. Uh, Nick, I'm nothing if not careful, <laughs> oh. especially in especially in uh, especially in these days. In fact, I don't. Well, let's just go on. Okay. Maybe you know. May, let's just sing and be happy and love Ooh. just about everything. This is about a moose and his relationship with um, sex. I'm a moose. I can't have oral sex with my mate because my antlers get in the way. One time when I entered her from behind, I imagined that my rod grew inside her. Till it took over her entire body Move her heart and intestines to the side But in the middle of my fantasy She saw a grizzly bear and pulled away from me To approach him even though she knows That you can't have good sex with a species different from your Because you have to work too hard To get your sexual organ to fit Coitus interruptus, coitus interruptus, coitus interruptus Coitus interruptus, coitus interruptus, coitus interruptus Lawrence, yes. I, I remembered uh, that at the beginning of this program, I announced that this was your last public performance. Yes, Nick, that's true. Now, why? What's what's eating you? Cynicism, anger, uh, lack of good gigs. I hate that word, gigs. Use a different one. Shows. Concert. Concert. Performances. Thing. Performances. Yeah, it's... Um, I just feel that I should be, um, I want the public to tell me that they love me. Well, you know, if you want to tell Lawrence that you love him, actually, if you're interested in Lawrence continuing his professional career, that's right. Please dial this number. Right. And I will, um, I will be forever in your debt. And that's now, a silent B. You know? Now, which number would you like uh, the, these people to dial? Should they le dial your home machine and leave you a message? Well, I don't have a machine at home, but I can be reached very, very early or extremely late, and that's the truth. Okay, but uh, for for starters, they could just call this number. Call the number now, yeah. Six seven eight seven seven four three. If if you think Lawrence should continue his professional career as a songwriter and performer. Uh, he, you know, it, this is a serious matter, folks. We're on the threshold of of one man's life uh, changing forever in a different direction. That's very, very And you true. could play a key in it, key role in that in that uh, matter. Please. But until that time that you call and change Lawrence's lifestyle completely, uh, please, Lawrence, play us one more tune. I beg of you. Well, I'll play one. You insist, Nick. In fact, this is a song that was co-written by yet another poet. Goodness gracious, yes, you do I'm, a lot of poet collaborations. Well, I'm you? in two poetry groups. One is Faux Mola and one is Mellow Freakin' Woody's. And this is my fellow Woody individual, Ms. Sharon Mesmer, a very fine writer. And she co-wrote this particular tune with me called Vivian, Taking Up Space with Vivian.
And here it is. He's taking up space with Vivian, sharing the same space she's living in. He's taking up space with Every post Marie Every post Meridian is rearing children Those lone notes. It's very hard for me to sing that particular tune. Would you like some help? Are the murmurs offering their you know help? No. Or did they just leave the murmurs? The, have, the, mur the murmurs have left the building. When you're when you are that big, Nick, you can do whatever that uh, you want. But I'm here to play for the public. Am I? I just said that I actually wasn't. I'm contradicting myself. Lawrence, you've got to get your stealth, your your ideas and 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 stuff squared away in a more firm manner. You know, Lawrence, I yes. think that you should go to the reflexologist and have your feet rubbed, and you should see about that bunion where your heart's supposed to be. You know I what see. I mean? I could I get behind that, that. This is a problem of perspective, perhaps. Is it really? And pain in the feet. Right. <laughs> you know... I'm sorry. I didn't no, mean to No, no, no. It's... Uh, you know, I accept help from all quarters and all dimes. <laughs> Speaking of dimes, 201-678-7743. They're not calling, Nick, are they? Well, uh, uh, you actually, I had a couple calls, oh, but I, I, I didn't uh, answer them. Tell because my mother to, to stop calling here. I, You know, really. I would like people out there to please tell me what they, tell me what they basically want. Maybe they want me to quit. Ooh, Lawrence, yeah, you know, really? you don't know these people. And oh, they, they don't have any, you know, some of the people who call into this radio station have no uh, heart. Really? Mm -hmm. Ah, let them call in. I dare them to tell me to quit. I challenge anybody that I'll quit at the drop of a hat. Anybody wants to call me up and tell me to quit, I'm ready for you. I'll just meet you right outside. I don't care who you are. But if you want me to keep on playing, well, I'm here also. I want the public to tell me something. I'm sick of playing in a vacuum as opposed to playing in a, in a toaster. Do I make oh. myself clear? Uh, I don't know, but uh, I, this, this gentleman... Fine, uh, put him on. Lawrence? Yeah. We've had enough. Oh, I bet. <laughs> yeah, ha, 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 ha. No, Keep it's going. great. Uh, thank you. More, please. More, but you've had enough anyway. Yeah, I, these, I, I'm, I'm telling you, Lawrence, these callers... They contradict themselves just as much as us hosts and performers. Really? Yeah. So we're all one community then. Mm -hmm. One big happy family. My bunion is beginning to feel a little bit better, Laura. <laughs> Good. Now, see, I told you, Lawrence. Not much, but it's a little bit. It's a little bit. Um, Nick. Lawrence. Am I going to be part of your Xmas show? Lawrence. I would really appreciate it if you would come down on the 20th to. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I mean, I must admit, I have a request. Uh huh. But <laughs> well, you know, I mean, Nick, you can get up off of your knees, you know. I accept. Really? Yeah. See. So you've decided after this one. Well, you see, I to... want people to to tell me what they basically want. I just want. I want a. I want epiphany. Well. That's what I want. I want a public epiphany, better known as PE. <laughs> <laughs> This man, and that ain't Lawrence enemy, Fishberg, yes. is out on the streets begging for P.E. Public 
epiphany, and that ain't that is not public enemy, so I don't want Chuck D to uh, you know call up. Well, maybe he could you know call up. I mean, I don't really. He care. may have an opinion about this line. I'm sure he would. Wait till he finds out that my last name's Fishberg. Lawrence, we discovered that your um, your particular fashion sense is uh, non-decade specific. Yes, Laura really hit it right on the head when she said I was non-decade specific NDS. So I've created my. Uh, she's helped me to focus on my uh, on my specific fashion. Well, you know, sometimes recording contracts are handed out willy-nilly to people if they're wearing the right thing. I see. So a pink chiffon is out. Well, I'm just curious as to whether you would ever consider changing your style. Well, I'm thinking of going blackface. Really? But I better not. Well, it was popular in decades mm -hmm. past. Oh. How about and, a day glow yarmulke? You and you know how work? everything goes in cycles? It does. It really does. Did you know that Michelle Schacht was going to wear blackface on her album cover? Really? Her, her brand new album, but didn't. Well, that's very, very, uh, that's very, very white over. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yes, it is. Nickaroo. Oh, yeah, what? Oh, what? It was blinking, but now it's not. Now it's over. Oh, they're, that's their tough luck. Uh, they're, they're chickens out they're there, Lawrence. Scared. They're, Lawrence, you they're know, scared. They're scared, Laura. Lawrence, we have been me. talking so much that we have almost oh, no time left. Really? Well, we have a good 10, 11 minutes well, left. Well, I can fit about 30, 40 songs in that. Well, uh, hit it. More. All right, I'm going to, I am going to do one of the Hal Sirowitz uh, hit called Chopped Off Arm. Yes, it's about your arm being chopped off. All right. Don't stick your arm out of the window, mother said. Another car can sneak up behind us and chop it off. Then your father will have to stop. Stick the severed piece in the trunk And drive you to the hospital It's not like the parts of your telescope That snaps back on A doctor will have to sew it You won't be able to wear short sleeves You don't want Anyone to see the stitches Chopped off arm Chopped off arm Chopped off arm Chopped off arm Yes, it's about a chopped off arm. Lawrence? Yes, Nick. You have a, a, a guest here who'd like to interview you. Uh, yeah, bring her or him on. I'm ready for, for just about anybody except Mom. Are you there? I'm here. Uh-oh, that <laughs> voice, that sweet, sweet voice can, can, can only be S&M, Sharon, and Mesmer. Is that who you are? Hello. Hi, it's Sharon. Yeah, Hi. Sharon. You have something to tell Lawrence, don't well, you? Well, actually, I have Sh something to ask Lawrence. Oh. All right, ask away. Quick, we, we're running out yeah. of time. Okay, I want to know, with all his wealth, money, power, and... Sexuality. Intelligence, why is he obsessing about his bunion? Because we all know that the bunion is a code word for the grassy knoll. Now, I want to address this issue with him. I'll deal with it tonight, Sharon. Wait, you're not going to deal with this tonight, though, really. You have everything pre-programmed into that damn computer of yours, and you have no intention of facing up with, to the grassy knoll and, and its relationship to well, your bunion. Well, well I'm going to be doing it at, uh, at uh, the next Nick Hill show in two weeks. Two weeks from tonight, you promise? I swear. Oh, that's what he always says. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, well. I we'll understand see. that Lawrence actually saw Santa Claus on, on the, the grassy, grassy knoll. No, he mm -hmm. did. Right. Is that true? You're asking me? Sharon, no. we're all asking you. Well, yes, yeah, sure. In fact, I, yes, both of us uh, saw it and both of us worship it. And 
both of us love everybody. Lawrence? Yes. Play us another tune. Well, I have this particular tune up um, now, and uh, this is called Gold, and it's about colors and their relationship to everyday emotions. Do you need any harmony on this? Sharon's (laughs) right here. Uh, Knowing about Sharon's harmonies, I think I'll skip it. Okay. He he can't count on me for any harmony at all. That's the beauty of our relationship. And it's a beauty, Sharon. Let me tell the public. All right. Here I go. Well, there we went. I dream in red, I wonder in white. I tend to blink. The time that I spend is purple goodbyes Have bits of gray As do hellos Fear is a wash in rows Anger has streaks Fishburg, ladies and gentlemen. You know, Lawrence? Yeah, Nick. Tomorrow's Pearl Harbor Day. Well, I have a song that actually fits that. Really? Yeah. In fact, it's really, it's kind of an incantation. It's my first you know, time that I am going to actually do something sort of semi aka aka whatever the name is. aka whatever it is. Is that a cappella? Yeah. Greetings. Acapella. You're on the air with Lawrence Fishburg. Uh-oh. Uh, Lawrence? Yeah? Um, you sound kind of familiar. I just want to check. Were you once in a group called The Fuse? Uh, no, but I was in an art group called Ann Litterman. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, in fact, I just well, want to, you know, say that, um, Ann, if you are out there, um, congratulations on your major artwork sales. She's a great artist, and I'm very, very happy for her. Thanks a lot. And I want to say also that Lawrence is a great artist, too, and anyone who wants to reach him about his art, he does uh, very good black and white drawings. Uh, I always thought he should stick with all are, you, are you his representative? <laughs> yeah, I'm a manager. I'm oh, manager. great. Yeah. Hey, Lawrence. Yeah. We have time for one more song. Well, this here. is kind of an incantation. It's just going to be done with a piano thing. It's called I've Been Reincarnated Too Many Times. It's very, very simple, and let's hope that this thing works. Oh, I'm hoping. Yes. All right. Here she goes. In Glasgow, Scotland, I was a clerk. I've been when I was a Turk I pulled a rickshaw in Formosa In the Bronx I was a grocer I set up pins in a Swiss bowling alley I wrote for a newspaper in Bengali I was a jester in medieval Spain As a Russian dry cleaner, I took out stains. I've been reincarnated too many times. That's why I don't have a job in this life. I worked so hard. I worked so hard. Mining disaster. I pulled a rickshaw.
Shaw in Formosa In the Bronx I was a grocer I've been reincarnated too many times That's why I don't have a job in this life Lawrence, don't cry. No, I have an open scab that I'd like to dab. Oh, it's going to be okay. Oh, we'll, thanks. We'll help you. Really? Oh, okay. Yeah. You know, Lawrence, I want to thank you for coming out this Nick, evening. Nick, thank you. Laura, thank you. Really, you were, it was very, very nice of you to have, uh, to have me out here. Well, it's truly a on pleasure. On Live Music Faucet. Thank you so much. Really. And actually, I guess we'll hear you again do a song during the Christmas Spectacular. Nick, I'm going to do the, the song, song that you love. I'm going to do the song. the song, I promise. Lawrence's hit and hot hit hot hit Christmas single. Yes. Thank you, Nick. Thank, Thank you, you. And thanks to our illustrious engineer this evening, Nick Hill, and uh, our house engineer this evening, Laura Cantrell. Thank you, Nick. Oh, thank you, Laura. Nick, you know? No, I don't. Tune in next week for Down and Away on the Live Music Faucet at 6 p.m. Ah! Down and Away? Goodness, I feel like I have something to announce, but I guess uh, stay tuned now for the John Schnall Nick Hill transitional moment, immediately followed by a one Mr. David Newgarden, who will be performing. Uh, or I'm sorry, he will be he will be spinning discs for your audio listening pleasure. This is the way we do it now. We're waiting for the John Schnellnick Hill transitional moment, which is coming right up. Hi, this is John Schnall. And this is Nick Hill. And you're listening to... The John Schnall... Nick Hill... Transitional transitional moment. moment. Please leave a message after you hear the beep. Yada 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 dee dee wah wah. This has been the John Schnall Nick Hill transitional moment.